these are the money maker. This is the, the main the main event right here. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cows. It's looking oh hella big. Okay. Okay, so I'm just crafting an energy cell. So I'm hoping that this is what I need to store some energy in the site, but at the very least, it should make it a bit easier to get some energy uh, to it. So I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. But there you go, that's that crafted now. And it's not a redstone cell, it's a leadstone cell, but I guess they don't matter anymore because they used to be, I can't even look, look at them. There you go. Um, yeah, so there used to be issues with those, or at least different kinds of ones you could get in different mods where, it, oh, look at my health, by the way, look at that. I'm up yellow heart now. No idea why. I've not had a ding saying I can, can have more, but it's gone up further, so there you go. Anyway, um, yeah, there used to be a redstone energy cell and a leadstone energy cell. The leadstone you just craft like I did before, and the redstone gets filled with liquid redstone inside of it. Uh, and I haven't done that, obviously, so this, I guess, the, the leadstone version, but um, I don't know, to be totally honest. Anyway, my plan right here, so is to place this bad boy down right there. So you'll see what I'm thinking very shortly, hopefully. Uh, and then I put some LV wire... No, I don't. None of those things. I need the capacitor. No, the connector, whatever it's called. LV wire connector? Yes, that's the one I need. So terracotta and copper. Okay, I'll grab some of that now. I've got... Cot I've got Got to, got a terror. Hmm, terracotta. I just need some uh, some copper, and then we're good to go. All right. So what I'm thinking then is that block I just placed, that energy cube kind of thing, is going to be the middle ground for all the energy coming directly from the water wheel. Is oh, that's my plan at least. And then maybe I can put some of the um, those things, the, uh, whatever they're called, wind turbines, on the roof of this. Perhaps if I need a bit more juice, I'm not completely sure, but I reckon if I put that on there, and then wire it directly to uh, this, I can't attach it to that wire there. Maybe it needs a relay first, I suppose. Okay, so if I put the relay on the roof and then disconnect this, however briefly, then connector on there, wire from there to there. No, not you, you son of a... Why have you connected to that? Go away. Wire from there to there. Yes, that's right. That's what I wanted in the first place. Connector on there to there and then from there back to here because that's how that works right yeah that should do it i think oh my god it's a mess but it is working that is going going up as well okay fine so if i put now if i get rid of this hole in here and i put another connector on there get rid of that glass and then another connector on this side of it can i power this that way as well maybe maybe not can i reach that maybe Yes, I can. Is that not powered? It is powering. Okay, fantastic. And then like for like on the top as well. If I just pop, uh, I guess, you on there. And why are you... Wait, are you the right one? Yes, from there to a connector on there. Are you powering now as well? You're not, but I don't think the top is set to be a thing. So I'll make the, the roof... Uh, out. Okay, yep, that's working. I'm getting executed by the wire. That is now working fine. Okay, right. I don't know if having a, a seed planted in there is going to be in the way, but it, it's certainly live and it's certainly set to gather plants and the energy is ticking along nicely. Okay, so both of those now maxed out and still doing their thing, or at least trying to. Is this cube still going up in power? It is! Alright, this might be okay. This might actually work. I might actually have the setup needed to, to do this, but we'll find out. Okay, so now my test will be if I can gather up seeds from here, and I've got some more over here. I had to amp up my production a little bit, so I've got a lot of wheat going on that I wouldn't have thought I normally needed. I don't know where you are on there. That's annoying. Okay, 15 seeds is not a lot, but it's enough to get started with. I think I've got more in storage too if I really wanted to amp it up, but we'll try that shortly. Uh, I reckon if I just throw these into the plant sower, it should get the ball rolling quite nicely, hopefully. All I've got to do is bung them straight into there. And I don't think the colours matter at the moment. I just got to come straight upstairs and see if it's, plant it's planting them. Look at that, they're planting. So we've done four, oddly enough. Is it because I've put them in the, the, the other corner? So it, could, it can do more than one thing. If I wanted to not just do wheat, I could separate it. I suppose I can just scatter and move it that way instead. But I'd really rather not be different colours. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do with that. How do I change that a little bit? That's crazy. Well, it's planted them all over the place, but it hasn't planted them any real meaningful layout. And I'm not completely sure how to get it to fill every space at once. Maybe if I put one on each, then lock it, that might work. I'm not sure. Let me gather some more stuff up. I've got some more seeds, and I'll see if I can get it working that way. I'll also nap, too, because there's a zombie nearby, and it's freaking me out. 
Okay, I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of seeds now, literally. I've got two and almost three stacks of seeds here. And I wonder if I turn it off for a second so that it doesn't spit things out and then put one in each. So if I pause you and then put one on each and lock inventory, they won't plant those now, right? But if I put... Okay, well, they get scattered all over the place, but kind of evenly to 16 each. Okay, I think that might work. So will that get planted now and drop down? It is, but it should stop at one of each, I think. I think. Is that getting planted? It is. Look at that. Look at it go. Getting planted. And this will hopefully harvest it all up once it gets, once it gets, once it gets grown, basically. Now, I don't yet have a system to, for pulling out the items. So ideally, I'd be able to pull out the wheat from here into upstairs, where it's going to get given into the, the, the feeder of the animals, which is a strange thing to say. And then the seeds will get pulled down back into uh, this bad boy here is the plan, right? Okay, we'll see if that's doable then. I guess I'm probably going to use the Ender IO conduits, of which there isn't a quest for, uh, but it's definitely going to be needed, I think. I'm not sure, to be honest. We'll see. But it is looking promising. Let me get some bone meal and I'll see if it actually is working, because that'll be the true test, won't it? To actually see if it gets harvested properly. And also, I'm not sure about sludge. I just have to pipe sludge out as well, when I? I didn't even think about that, but that sludge will eventually fill up, and I think once it's full up, it'll stop working, but I could be wrong about that. It's a possibility that it'll just carry on, but I know with the creosote oil, when that gets full, uh, the production of co coal coke definitely stops. So I'm going to assume that it'll do the same here too, and if it doesn't, that should be a nice little bonus. I'm not completely sure what sludge is for either. I feel like I can use it for something, but I can't imagine it's for much useful, so... I don't know. Okay, so when you become fully grown, you're harvested and you're in there. Yes, look at that. Bloody hell. So I can change the crop output to be a different side. And I can change the sludge to be a different side. And I can change the fluid. Okay. Okay, so I can. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, maybe I can change the sides. Okay, that should be fine. But this definitely does work. Yes, it does. And then it gets replanted from underneath. Come on. Oh, it does. Okay, that. That's a system. That's working. All I've got to do now is automate it and we're happy days. Right, okay. Ender IO conduits. How do they work? So I've searched for Ender. I'm hoping it'll bring up everything I need. You. Ender, no, energy, fluid. Okay, item conduit. You bad boys here. So pulsating iron nugget, which is made... Oh my god. Okay, with an induction smelter, which is iron and ender pearls. Oh my god, that's, that's not great, is it? One ender pearl for one iron ingot? Oh no, I've only got one enderpearl, that's not good. Okay, maybe the, uh, oh, let's go, that's ducks, ducks. Maybe the item duct instead. Sort of a duct. Item duct, okay, so tin and lead, or if I make them transparent, it's with tin and, is that just hardened glass it's with? Yeah, I guess it's with hardened glass, okay. So we'll make them opaque and we'll do it with lead and tin. And hopefully I've got a way of adding a filter to it. I think the redstone, whatever they're called, servos will add filters. Okay, we can do this. We can definitely do this. I've only got one ender pearl, so I can't make ender IO conduits, which is a shame, but I think that's okay. I think we can still get around this. Lead and tin. Now I've got lead on me and tin is right here. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. And I'll try and make a server to iron nugget, redstone and glass. Okay, iron nuggets, iron ingots, redstone, and I think my glass is in my backpack now. There you go, clear glass should work, shouldn't it? Bish, bash, bosh, yes, I'll make two of those for now. Okay, so if I have a tube um, here, which will then go down, which will hopefully pull out seeds. So if I put the redstone servo into that and then click on it, it's going to be a blacklist, no, a whitelist of just seeds, right? Yeah, just seeds. If I put the seeds in there, it should pull out seeds from inside that, which we'll find out till I, till I grow some more stuff up, but we'll see if that works. I think a whitelist is what I want. I'm pretty sure it is. And if I have this pipe straight into this bad boy right here, is it working? I don't know. Let's, let's grow some more crops and see what happens with the seeds. Grow you. Seeds are there. Maybe I want the blacklist, perhaps. Oh, have I got to activate it with redstone? Redstone ignored. Oh, they've gone. Okay, did that work? I'm honestly not sure. Right, what I'll do then, I have to take all the seeds out of here and we'll see if it works again. So if I take out all of you, leaving just the one of each that I've locked in there, fabulous. And come back up here and grow a bunch of these bad boys. Oh, don't harvest it though, don't harvest it. Oh shit, I did it again. Okay, you should now harvest them and get all the seeds and they'll get sucked out. They have gone, yes. And do they go down to the bottom? Do these get replanted? That's what I've got to see. These get replanted. If they get replanted, 
then I know that it's worked. That wheat's not getting picked up though. They're getting planted. It's working. That bloody works. Yes. Okay, fine. So we've got a plan. Right. So then I'm going to need to have the other stuff get taken up to the next floor, which I guess will go this way. Which is, I guess, that's where it's going to get put for now. And then I'll put another redstone servo on to there. And that will get whitelisted as to wheat go. Yes. All right. So now I can go upstairs and place down the... Not my crusher, the other one. The, the Oh, that thing over there. I had to grab... Uh, where's it going? That thing from over there and place that here. And this will become where we breed our cows. Okay, this this has potential. This could really genuinely work. Okay, let's break you and everything you've got in you, which is actually very little. Whoa, crazy mouse. New cows are very loud and laggy, so let's leave them for a minute. And I guess I want some fences too, right? So I'll probably make those as well. I think I've got some wood down here I can use. Maybe even fences I can use already, actually. Do I have fences in here already? That'd be really helpful. I do not. Never mind. Plenty of sticks, though, so that's not the end of the world. Oh, I've got fences here too. I do have fences. All right, fine. We're good. We're okay. Okay, so we're almost good to go. I just have to make some more leaden flux ducts because uh, I can't quite get it to wire up properly with the cables, like these things here. So instead, I'm ditching those for this part and just running this cable along instead. And I'm hoping that if I can get around it, I've kind of warmed myself off a little bit now. Can I... Can I fit this over there instead? If I do one, two, three. Yeah, we're okay. I can make a little pathway here instead. Fine. I'm hoping that if I put the connector onto, I guess, the bottom of that. Please don't hurt me. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but ow! Damn it, that's what I was <laughs> hoping wouldn't happen. Um, but I hope I can wire it straight from there straight up again. I can't see why it wouldn't work, right? So if I put that on there, which was weird. I didn't know I spun out of, out of the earth there, but okay. And then you go straight up this way, which should fit too. I can then get some cable from there to there. Oh no, I need to put a thing on first. Conductor to there. Has that worked? I can't attach, it, can't attach the wire there. Oh, I already have, that's why. Wait, have I? Yeah, I think I already have. Okay, but is it working? I do not know. Well, we'll find out in a second. I'll get back down to the floor with a big bang, like I said, <laughs> and then we'll see if that's powered, because if it is, then we're in business. Let's have a quick look. Um, this floor, is that doing its thing? Is that powered? It's not. It can take energy from all sides. Of course, the working area is, uh, wow, awful, actually. That's not right at all. I may have to drop it a bit lower, actually. I didn't want it to have it too high because I wanted to have the cabling go through it too, but I guess I could put fence over the cabling. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit too. I figured that would be fine, but I guess it's not. Oh no, this isn't, okay, I worked that out, I worked that out, I worked that out, okay. All I have to do is make uh, this, this other side, orange, is it that side? Nope, not that side. Make it back to blue again. Oh my goodness, I'm missing all sorts of stuff up here. Make you orange instead, you know orange? No, oh my god, which one is it? Is it the back? Oh dear, I've, what am I doing here? What color of the top? The top is orange, so orange is definitely an output, okay. Orange is definitely an output, and I, I guess that means blue is definitely an input. Okay, there's an enderman there. It's case. We could do the killing him, but the creeper might make that a bit tough. Okay, so orange is an output. Blue is an input. How do I make you orange? Maybe make you that way? Okay, there you go. So they're all orange now. I could do it. Where's the Where's the blue? That one should oh, stay blue, though, shouldn't it? Because it's draining now. So is it that one? No, is it that one? Okay, it was that one. The pinging off into space is very annoying, but that's still fine. So that is that still charging? I didn't even check. I should have a look. But, looking at this, ow, it is still charging, which is good news, and then upstairs has that other top one now filled up as well. It has indeed, okay, it's in the wrong place, but it is charging, so that is very, very good news. Okay, so I'm thinking if I just drop this down again to the same height, I'll just put fences over the top of it, because I didn't want to, ooh, wrong one, no, not that one, this one, yeah. I didn't want to put it on the same level because obviously animals will jump over it. And I've got to have the pipe as well, so I, I figured it'd be easier just to keep it out of the way, but... Oh! Bugger. Never mind, let's instead drop that down a bit further. And I'll, I'll put it along the floor height, then I can jump over it, can't I? Okay, it's crude as all hell, and it's a little bit clunky looking, but it should mean now that I should, in theory, be able to just very quickly toggle this to being ignoring redstone, always pulling out just the uh, the wheat, which is white listed, and now upstairs, any wheat that it has harvested should now be sitting in this machine, ready to go. It isn't. That's a shame. Oh, there we go. It just took a little, took, took a little while to get there because I'm using the very basic bitch pipes, but it has worked. Okay, good. 
Wow, okay, fine. So now, I think that is now a completely closed automated system that's powered by water so it shouldn't ever stop. All I need to do now is put a couple of cows up the top and they will get bred together, in theory. Right? So let's grab a couple at a time. So I'll grab one here, because I've only got this mob imprisonment tool. I don't have any safari nets yet, although I could make one, actually. Thinking about it, let's just do that. How do I make one? I don't mean that, I meant the golden lasso. Uh, which is this one, or lasso, which is gold nuggets and string. Oh, I should have enough string in the house, right? Ideally, I can make two of them if I can. Oh, I'm hungry though, that's why I can't run. I wonder what was going on. Eat some pancakes, beautiful, beautiful blueberry pancakes. Hells yeah. And hopefully down here in this box, oh yeah, loads of string, okay. And I'll make some golden nuggets. They're honey crunching good. I can now make a couple of these for the cost of 8 XP each, I think. Yeah, it does cost 8 XP, but that's okay, I can, I can deal with that. There's a quest reward and everything. All right, let's just throw some of this junk in there as well. All right, let's move some cows. I'll take I'll take three over in the, or maybe one of the lesser and one in the safari net, and we'll see what we're doing here. We can then find out if it actually works. If I grab you, although I've realized I could probably do with making that uh, thing I cleared out a second ago, you know, the, the range upgrade. It was sitting in, <laughs> I left one template left in this chest, in this uh, thing down here, and I deleted it and all to make the, uh, the lasso, that's annoying. This thing, okay, I need more iron, which is now in my bag as well. I need to organize my inventory much better because this is an absolute state. You, 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 okay, cool. So now I've got a cow in there, and I've got a cow in there. That should be good. Is it raining now? I just had the rain start. That, oh, that's annoying, but never mind. Ugh. Okay, so if I show working area for you and I throw in the range upgrade, it's now covering Whoa, quite far. Not the edges, but that's good because I need to find a way to separate them from, from the grown beasties, but that's perfect. That's absolutely fine. Now, if I just drop in the... Okay, can I jump, jump over that, please? Jump over that? Why can I not jump over there anymore? What? I thought that was a thing I could do in this pack. I thought I could jump over... Oh, wait. Yeah, I thought I could jump over fences in this mud pack. That's weird. That's really weird. I've always been able to do that. Interesting. Okay, never mind. Pop you down and pop you down, and then you get bred together. Do you get bred together? Breed my cows. Go on, go on, feed them, feed them, feed them. You got, you got wheat, right? Yeah, feed them. You can do it. You're in the range. Go for it. Feed. What's going on? Why is that not working? They're in, they're in, the, in the box. Paused, is it? No, it's not paused. What's going on? What's happening? Something very strange is going on and I don't know what. Let's just hide the working area for now and just see what's going on. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Wait, where'd it go? What the hell? Hold on, did I not put it down? What's going on? Where did the other cow go? He just disappeared from my eyes. I was looking at, looking at my menu and he's just gone. What the heck? Didn't get fed, but maybe that would be why he didn't get fed. Okay, that's too weird. Right, let's get some more cows because that's freaking me out. Where did that cow go? Did he fall through the floor? No, he didn't. What is going on there? Can I jump these fences? Yeah, look, I can hop over them. Maybe because the ceiling's too high in the place. I'm not too sure. Alright, let's find some healthy cows. You, you're a healthy cow. And let's find uh, you, you're a healthy cow. And then I'll get a third one for good luck. Who's a healthy cow? You're a healthy cow. That's a strange thing to say, but yeah. And maybe I, yeah, maybe I can't hop over the, the fence up there because on my head it's a ceiling, perhaps. It's a possibility, isn't it? But let's let's assume that's what it is before I start freaking out that cows are turning to ghosts and my climbing seals have stopped working in indoors. Okay, so you there. Oh, there they go. They're getting bred. So I must have just bugged a second ago and the other cow just disappeared. But they are all there now and they are getting bred together and I definitely can't jump over this, so that's annoying. But that is working. Okay, so all I need to do now is find a way to separate adults from babas. So if I could have all the babies get pulled over to the far side, That'd be grand, because I did notice that the this guy, the mob crusher, will accept adult filters. So it'll actually just kill adults, rather than just killing babas, which is what we want to do. We don't want to kill the babies, do we? That's not what we're after. But if there's any way of pulling the babies out into the other section so that they get murderized when they become adults, that'd be perfect. But I don't know how to do that, so I need to look into any kind of block to separate adults from infants. Because I'm as much as I want to kill these cows, I don't want to kill babies. I draw the line at, at children, let's be honest. But this is working. This is legitimately actually working. There is sludge in there I should try and get rid of at some point. And there is seeds in here which I'm fine with. There will be excess surplus seeds sitting in this pipe, I'm sure, over time. But as long as as long as they don't break anything, I can't see any problem with that. So if I just go nuts with this now and just Okay, I can't go nuts, I've only got two, but I was gonna harvest uh sorry, grow a load of the stuff. 
But there you go. That should now send it up. Oh god, upstairs at some point. It should get harvested to get sent upstairs. We should see these guys get bred again if, if anyone's breedable. I don't know that they are, but one wheat's arrived. And another wheat should turn up any second now, hopefully. Just to test that it's working. Go on. Yes, there you go. Two wheat is now up there as well. And everything down here should be fully planted, which it is. That works. That legitimately works. Okay, that is fabulous. Right. So what I can do then, potentially, is change the pipe over here, because I'll move that to the right-hand side, because that's just weird, isn't it? But I could then if, if potentially have this do half um, wheat and half, say, carrots, and then the carrots can go up to the left-hand side, or maybe up to the next floor, potentially, and make uh, pigs instead. That'd be good, wouldn't it? See, that that's an option. I might not do pigs, but it's an option. I could also have any excess seeds, which I may end up doing. I could have the pipe run maybe past this guy and then carry on going up again. I can use the seeds that are excess for breeding chickens, perhaps. That could also work too. There's a lot of options here. There's a lot of things we can do. But my next step is to work out how I can actually pro pro properly properly use this mob crusher because it's a terrifying looking machine. It's got some hella teeth on it. Uh, but I don't want to go crazy with it and kill the whole thing because if I run out of cows that'll be that'll be annoying wouldn't it let's be honest but that is not for today that is maybe for today later in real life for me but it is not for this video so I do have some more time to kill today it's only half past 12 in the afternoon for me on a Sunday so I got a few more hours so I may end up playing a bit more of this hopefully I can record some but maybe not I'm not completely sure how these videos are coming out at the moment, because right now they're, at, well, as far as I'm concerned, they should be coming out once per week, but I've recorded like 10, 12, 15 episodes or so now. So uh, that's like several months worth of video, one at a time. So I might end up putting them out a bit closer together if I've got enough of them to justify it, but we shall see. So I hope you're enjoying them anyway, because... I'm really, really enjoying this pack. It's taking a little while to get going, but I'm very much enjoying it now that it is. And the amount of quests that I haven't even started yet, it just blows my god dang mind. Like, I've not done any of those, none of those, none of those, none of those, none of those even. Barely. Actually, no, none of them either. There's so many I've just not even started. This is a good one. I want to do this Cursed Earth and then start getting Dark Glass and a mob grinder for, for hostile mobs. Definitely want to do that at some point, but I've not done that too. Sweet, let's get a loot chest. Let's end it on a loot chest. Go on. What are we getting out of this bad boy? Anything good? Uh, maybe. What the hell's an Umbran sapling? Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to plant it. We're going to end that off with that being planted. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed these videos. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope it's not annoying you too much that I can't hear what you're saying in time. Ow! You son of a bitch! Right, I need to go sleep and get rid of the rain too while it's dark. Yeah, hopefully it's not bugging too much that I can't really see the comments in time for acting on it. Chances are y'all have been telling me exactly what to do for a long time ago, and I've just not noticed it because I'm recording these too far in advance. But I just can't stop playing it, and I figured if I'm going to play it, I may as well record it, right? So there you go, job done. So hopefully, oh, there you go, perfect. I can get this bone, get the bone meal, heal this plant up, and see what it looks like. Ooh, ooh. Umbran wood and umbran leaves. Well, there you go. That's a cool purple tree to have outside my front door, isn't it? But there you go. Anyway, yeah, hope you're enjoying it. And if you are enjoying them, like ratings are always very appreciated. But otherwise, I'll see you soon anyways for another episode of Enigmatica 2. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.